Hey Legionnaires and welcome back. We're here with another Rise of Mordor Battlefield today and this is the glorious battle of the five armies. You can see legions of orcs are marching forward towards the Lonely Mountain and the city of Dale. And they are led obviously by Azog the Defiler. Fortunately, we don't have an Azog the Defiler uh, model, but uh, you can believe that he is here somewhere in spirit. Maybe it's that guy there. Uh, that guy, we'll say he's Azog. Um, but yes, we have legions of orcs ready to crush the elves, men, and dwarves that are resisting them today. So yeah, we have a glorious... I'm not, I'm not entirely sure how many armies we have here. I think we may have a 4v4, classic 4v4. Um, but we also have, of course, uh, quite a few mods on. We have the unit add-on mod on, which adds like things like large onager, which obviously Dolgaldor and Mordor need. Uh, and we also have all sorts of other stuff like Lake Town Guard, archers, and uh, also allows like factions to uh, kind of intermix. So you can have like a mix of dwarves, elves, if you wanted to. So obviously, and we also have the troll mo uh, mod on today. So uh, I believe there are some trolls that are here today. And you can see them over here. They are ready to go. Um, obviously being commanded by uh, Mordor. So I guess Mordor's obviously, you know, uh, well, I think... They've just uh, brought trolls and then a load of orcs. I don't know. That's probably all they have got. But yeah, we've got trolls here today. Obviously, trolls were a major part of the Battle of the Five Armies. Um, I can't wait to see when Dolgaldor gets their own and we can uh, see them in action. That will certainly be fun. But yes, if you're enjoying seeing Rise Mordor on the channel and would like to see some more, then definitely remember to leave a like, subscribe if you're around here, and I can't show your support. But yeah, this is going to be a glorious battle for sure. There are 12,000 orcs here today against 7,000 uh, men, elves, and dwarves. So uh, obviously numbers massively uh, different there, but obviously the orcs rely on numbers. They're not good in quality, while the elves and the dwarves especially are very, very good in quality. And also the defense here in Dale looks pretty stern, pretty, pretty nasty. I mean, there's these are narrow... Uh, streets which can be defended quite easily. We've got watch post sentries here. We've got shipmen. We've got all sorts of Lake Town guards. More shipmen. Um, Lake Town guards. What else we got up here? Watch post sentries. Yeah, just a lot of Lake Town guards and watch post sentries and things like that. Here are the Lake Town uh, bowmen though. These guys have got a brilliant view right now of the army that's coming towards them. They can see the hordes that they are going to have to face or the elves are going to have to face. Um, but yeah, it is looking glorious for sure. Um, but yeah, so basically, they this battle is kind of trying to go off the whole Battle of the Five Armies, uh, like sort of uh, how it goes in the movies, and uh, trying to recreate that. So I believe, obviously, we've got the uh, got all the dwarves here. We've got Iron Swordsmen, so that's a really cool unit. There's these uh, guys here. I don't know why they bothered with Iron Swords when they could have just got Iron Guards, because they all had, I was going to say, they had spears. Yeah, okay, we do have a few of them. So these are just Iron Guards with swords instead. So that's pretty cool um, that we have these guys here, but... Yeah, they look, they look pretty nice. And then what else we got? We actually probably should have a look at some of these units because uh, the Las Garland Swordmaster. So the decision was to give uh, the Wooden Realm a shock infantry unit, which I can only see as being a terrible idea because this is now going to cause so much death. So yeah, this will be a really good unit to see that in action. Um, what else have we got here? I imagine there are some other stuff that we've yet to see. Arable Halbdeers, no, we've seen them. Onager, probably not actually then. There may actually not be many other different units. Obviously, the Lord Skull and Swordmasters are still here. I'm surprised we haven't seen any Hall Guardians being brought. Uh, and then there is... So basically, this is obviously the front line. The Elves obviously come in and support the Dwarves like they do in the movie. There is a small force back here. So what have we got here? We've got Iron Hammers. So I presume... Oh, okay, this is a new unit. I guess it's like Dane's unique unit, but without Dane. Yep, yeah, kind of looks it. Um, so... These guys are supposed to represent Thorin arriving. I don't know why they don't just use Dane, maybe as their general. Uh, but I guess because Dane's already the front lines here. Um, so yeah, so that obviously, this is the force that's happening over here. And then obviously you can see, this is going to be the reinforcing Orc army over here when we can uh, see the rest of it. We can only see three units at the moment. But they are getting into position to assault the rear lines. I've been told that obviously, like, tactics kind of go out of the window a little bit. They kind of, like, uh, are going off. Obviously, like a script that they've uh, they've kind of made. So obviously, don't really criticize tactics in this one, guys. If you like, are kind of into like your tactical stuff, kind of just sit back, relax. And you're gonna go, kind of enjoy just uh, basically seeing the movie of the uh, like the Battle of Five Armies brought uh, brought back to life almost uh, in Total War. That's kind of the idea. So yeah, if you want to get involved in some of these battles as well, do join the. The li uh, do join the Discord. Link's down below in the description. I was about to say, do join the link. Uh, 
the Discord is down in the description. No, the other way around. Um, but yeah, so the Discord's in the d description. If you want to join some Rise of Mortal Battles or get involved in some of these like cool scenarios, I definitely recommend joining. Um, or you just want to like chat to myself or other subs, also feel free to join. Just to do that. Yeah, it's still all, all the or they're still moving up with these orcs. Um, so yeah, anyway, I'm gonna just make a cut because I just thought, you know what, we'll start with a cool little intro showing off all the marching of the orcs uh, towards the front lines. I'm gonna wait into the orc setup and then I will, uh, I'll, I will return to you guys. So I will see you guys in a moment. So we are back and the uh, the battle hasn't quite started, but as you can see, the dwarves are getting hit hard by artillery here, going off all around them. Oh my gosh, these poor iron swords when they're getting hit. Really hard. I mean, the dwarves are obviously responding with their own artillery. They're hitting the hordes of darkness down here, and you can see them all going off. It is going to be a really, really blow. That was not a bad hit there, but they could do it being more in the center. They need to kill as many of these as many of these orcs as possible. Actually, they kind of missed this unit entirely. They hit a few of these pikes back here, but yeah, they could do with hitting. And this nice formation they're in, you want to hit these boys hard as possible. And the dwarves obviously are pretty stationary uh, th themselves. Oh, jeez. Yeah, they hit them with explosive ammo. And here we go, the lines are about to clash. We have phantoms going in, and they're going to get cut down by these iron guards, I imagine. I, or the iron swordsmen, I should get used to calling them that. Um, obviously, they're bringing all these cool units uh, for the add-on. Oh, look at that. They're kind of already overwhelming the front line of the dwarves. The elves firing in behind as well, you can see there. The uh, Lasgarn Arch is already firing in. But yeah, I imagine that... Um, what I forgot was to say, yeah, the reason they brought all these uh, these dwarves... Is because they want to uh, kind of emulate, obviously, the Battle of Five Arms. They don't want Erebor Dwarves, they just want uh, Iron Hill Dwarves. And you can see the Elves have gone in and they've gone in to support, like they do in the movies, with their two handed swords cutting, oh, cutting down as many units as possible. I guess the reason we don't have Hall Guardians is because there weren't any there, but then there weren't any Halberdiers, so they could have brought Hall Guardians, I guess, the Elves. It would have been kind of cool. You can see the uh, the first wave is just going to be phantoms going in. We have now see some uh, wraiths going in as well. I mean, these phantoms are going to get cut down by iron swords. And be yeah, about a clash over here. I imagine they'll go in very, very soon. Yep. Iron swords better brace. Here come the undead wraiths. And they are ready to go in. So I hope you guys have got your snacks, your drinks ready. Because we are here for the long run. And this is going to be a bloody Rise Mortal Battle, I'm sure. And there's plenty of action ready. Uh, ready to go. Uh, it seems like Dale's kind of been ignored, by the way. It looks like, I don't know, maybe that army over in the back is going to be having the job of taking it. I'm not really sure what uh, what's going to be attacking Dale. But I guess, obviously, because like in the movies, they attack this line first and then uh, they they go in for, uh, in for Dale. So we will see, hopefully some sort of like order be given and like a load of orcs will move towards Dale. But already you see this, look at this, Morgul Legion getting focused down, down to 110 men. He's obviously like the contingent from uh, Mordor, so I guess you could say these like Gundabad orcs. I don't know. Obviously they're here just really because um, because uh, obviously they want the trolls and Dogledore unfortunately does not have them. See these boys, they're starting, to, uh, they're starting to push back the dwarves a little bit, maybe with the pole arms. And they're not daring to attack these elves, they dare not attack the elves where they don't have to. But you can see here this first line of uh, iron guards, it's down to 42 men, it's kind of getting overwhelmed. Dane's having to retreat as well, this is not a good sign. And you see the elves in here kind of getting overwhelmed already, this is not looking so great. And I've been told as well that this one comes down to the wire. It's apparently a really, really close battle. So definitely, again, another reason to stick around if you don't, if you're a lover of uh, of Rise of Mordor. And what, the artillery going off, I presume he's aiming at uh, Dane. There's a big hit here. He's down to 75 men. It might be safer for Dane just to stay in there. I mean, it seems like the dwarves are holding pretty steady everywhere else. I mean, Goldor Blade's breaking. That's a good sign. With the elves over here cutting down as many of these orcs as they can. The dwarves breaking their formation as well, which is not a good sign. These uh, iron swords kind of just like 
fighting whoever they see. They're not really standing and fighting together, which they probably need to do. Like, that's kind of what, obviously, like, the forces of good are good at, is that they're good in their formations. While the Orcs kind of just run forward a bit mindlessly sometimes. But yeah, these Morgul Legion wavering and breaking. I mean, they're probably going to break. You can see Elves already out of ammo, which is not a good sign. We're not very far into this battle. We've got 49 minutes left to go with this battle. And Elves are starting to run out of ammo. And they don't seem to have any, like, supply pots or anything like that. So they need to save some ammo. Especially with Trolls coming up. You can see Trolls now coming to the front line. These Orokai, they're nasty. Oh, there's already one here as well. Look at this. These guys are going to go straight in. They're going to deal with these uh, shock infantry that the elves have committed. And in they go. And that's going to change the battle entirely. Probably in favor of the uh, forces of evil on this side. We'll call them that. I mean, what are these called? Yeah, Lascala uh, La and Swordmasters. I'm going to have to get used to that. These guys are pretty good, I imagine. They are vulnerable to archer fire. So, I mean, last time I checked, trolls aren't archer fire. So maybe they'll be okay with them. See the gold of, I guess the gold of blades is like the whole idea of the uh, attackers that they can just they can go through lines. I know this is not really like whole rules and strategy and like okay in total war, but for this they're just allowed to rush through and attack whatever they can. I guess that's kind of the, the whole point. Orcs will do that, and you can see here they're kind of pulling. You can see they're very much pulling through, but uh, that's okay apparently in this uh, in this scenario. I um, mean, then the next line is elves. And it's not a very thick line, put it like that. Over here, they seem to have sort of held back the first wave. The second wave is now coming in. We've got a load of orc warriors coming in. These guys also probably just going to get cut down by the elves and dwarves. Dwarves doing their utmost they can. And you can see that the assault for Dale has begun as well. Actually, I don't know why these archers are outside the walls. These are not going to survive long if they get caught by trolls. Yeah, I don't know how they've managed this. I guess they maybe went through the wall. I'm presuming this part of the untextured wall, that wall here is where they snuck through. I'm not sure. They're getting cut down, or it might have just been the gap in the wall there. I don't know. Maybe in a misclick. But yeah, these archers are going to get cut down now. And that's not a good start to the battle. These are going to be... Archers that they were going to need to deal with uh, the Yolo Kai. And the Yolo Kai, I mean, they are getting focused on my watch post sentries, but even still, these Lake Town Guards archers, I don't know how good they are, but I'm going to presume pretty good. And they're just getting, uh, they're just getting murdered, put it like that. But yeah, the assault has actually begun in, inside Dale itself. We've got, what have we got here? We've got Wraiths. So, like, like on the front lines, they're sending in the undead stuff first. And they've killed the officer. How good they! These watch post sentries or these spear militia will lose uh, they will lose hope. And these are watch post sentries over here. A little bit better. I do like that they're using low tier units for Dale. I mean, that is kind of opposite what Dale had. They just had literally like the villages of Lake Town. And there's like not many good soldiers amongst them. Obviously Bard all of a sudden managed to uh, become an absolute beast and just kill orcs left, right and center. But yeah, they will take a little bit of time to kill obviously Dale. Is going to uh, need some support. I mean, I, I wonder whether the uh, elves will send like archers back towards uh, the city if they uh, if they can spare any. To be honest, right now they're going to need every man they can get. The dwarves are battling on. I wonder where we're going to see a retreat. I would like to see whether uh, the dwarves retreat. Obviously, the elves kind of like. I guess maybe the elves will all go inside the city because kind of like that's what happens. They either all die outside. Um, or they, uh, or they retreat, and they go. You can see. Oh, these these guys have arch ammo left. These last guys archers need to get out of there. They cannot be affording to waste ammo. Oh, I love this like combat that's going on. You can see like the dwarves fighting on, and then you've got like a couple of elves, a caging nearby, and their golden armor very easily to identify. The Urlokai over here, they, they are winning. They are breaking stuff as well, which is the real concern. Lascala and Swordmasters are actually struggling pretty hard, as are the Iron Swordsmen. I'm surprised that the Dwarves didn't bring uh, any, like, archers, any crossbows. That would be a really handy use. I, I obviously, they were, like, preset armies, I presume, but you could have given them some of their, some of the, uh, some crossbows. 
I am presuming that the, uh, the catapults are supposed to symbolize the twirly whirlies. And you can see this is looking a bit dire over here as well. Got halberdiers breaking. We've got a general in here as well. Champions of Dogle Door. Already being committed. Halberdiers here are starting to break stuff. But I mean, you may be thinking, well, the armies of evil are all losing. They're already kind of spent. But you got to remember, there's another army up here. Another full stack. And I imagine this is pretty, uh, like, pretty elite. I mean, you've got Gulder Glaives here. You've got a lot of shock infantry, I imagine. Um, so, yeah, they've got like a fresh army to face. Obviously, troops here will return. Elves will obviously be sending forces to help Dale. Uh, Dale is already really struggling. You can see wavering going on down here. What's this? Spear militia, yeah, being broken by the trolls. This is not a good sign. Trolls, I imagine, are going to do quite good in these close quarters. Hopefully, their pathfinding's okay. I know that's a bit buggy sometimes, but hopefully, the pathfinding's okay for these trolls because they are going to get hundreds of kills, I'm sure. I mean, what are they at now? This one's 105. I mean, you've got the Lake Town Guard here. They have actually managed to get back inside these Lake Town Guard bowmen. But yeah, they're going to need more troops uh, down here if they're going to stop the armies. I mean, honestly, trolls could just move on. Uh, There's one of the few units I'd say that can push through because it's, it's a troll. It's not... Why would it stop for a little human if it can just move on? If it sees another target, it'd move on. And they are designed to break formations as well. That's why you send trolls in. Like, pull, pulling through breaks formations. Um, that's what trolls are designed to do. They're designed to break formations. They are the counter to uh, shield walls, like those impenetrable shield walls that like Citadel guards make. Um, I was going to say imp the impenetrable walls are pikes, but they actually are still very vulnerable to pikes. Though I have had word that the uh, the uh, trolls that the main model making should be able to take down Fountain Guard. And don't quote me on that, but that's what I did here at one point. The elves are having to send in their Las Garland spears now to hold back this wave of uh, gold ore blades. I mean, this is not a good sign. The elves are having to commit their reserves. I mean, the dwarves are all but spent, to be honest. They've got very little left already. Iron guards, yeah. There's, I mean, the uh, the units that are the dwarves are all in blue. And there's not many blue units left, put it like that. They've got uh, Thorin's over here. So we actually, well, there's actually more than I thought. And we've got the reserves of the dwarves. Okay, so they are actually deciding to already fall back. Wow. Um, honestly, that's a little bit early. You can also leave in the elves to just die. Um, I think they would have been okay. But I guess they wanted to do it for the movie's sake. But the elves, I mean, they're battling on hard. I mean, I wouldn't have abandoned these dwarves just yet. It seems like they're doing okay. I mean, if you're going to get the dwarves out there, get them all out. Seems like most of the Olokai have been uh, pushed back as well. None got committed over here. And this seems like a really healthy part, to be honest. I don't know why. don't know why they've struggled a lot more over here, the armies of uh, Dolgaldor. But, I mean, they are now throwing in their pikes. That should give them a bit of an advantage. I say that, and then uh, this guy just gets stabbed in the chest with a pike. So, maybe not. Maybe the, maybe the pikemen, you know, I mean, if they get too close, they do kind of still suck. Like, you can see them here. They're just being cut down. By these uh, iron swordsmen. But they're battling on. I'd certainly start to think about getting some elves back. Yeah, they have already committed a small detachment. We've got Las Garland, uh, Lords of Las Garland going in. They have no ammo. Um, really, I bet they always wishing they had the ammo as the camera gets in the way. Oh, this is a bit dark. I do apologize. But uh, as you can see, the Lords of Las Garland are down there. Trying to do a bit against the trolls. I mean, they just need to slow them down to allow the Olokai to uh, get focused down. But I don't know how good the archers are, really. Like, Lake Town Guard, Bowman, they could be okay. They may not be. These Javis, the shipmen, may be the savior. Along with pole arms. Um, as you can see, here, we've got Lake Town Guard. These guys are pretty decent pole arms. They may be able to slow down the armies of evil, including the trolls. That's the main thing they need to slow down. See, so yeah, look at this. This looks awesome, just like the movie. Like them all running back up the, back up the hill, and then they've got the, uh, the orcs chasing them back up. Instead, we've got wraiths. But you know what I mean. It's, it looks great. It really does. The trolls are actually in the back line here, beating up archers. Jeez, science in these archers, which is obviously their main threat. They do need to do that. So yeah, well played there by, Dogledor and Mordor. Realizing that was their main threat. I mean, they're still getting folks down these orcs. They're down to five. They're getting shot by other. Other archers? Yeah, these uh, ones here. I mean, look at this. They've got gold or blades in behind as well. I mean, they're not interested in the archers. They just want to surround these elves. And I don't blame them. 
I mean, even still, though, look at this. The pikes are being in combat here. The pikes usually in uh, a turtle or in, like, anything. Any turtle war. They beat any infantry. But no, not these Goldor pikes. They're not that great. <laughs> look at that. Artillery still going off as well. Not quite sure why they gave uh, like the Force of Evil artillery. I know there was, like, troll artillery. If they were going to use it, they should have used it on Dale. Um, there wasn't really any artillery firing on... On the front line, but yeah, some good hits here. I mean, yeah, you can see where the elves were. Where this large onager as well does a lot of damage. Where even is nearly out of ammo, surely? Oh yeah, it's literally on the last dregs. Here we go, last one. It's going over there somewhere. Yeah, it's like explosive ammo. I presume it's going to hit down here again. Yep. Missed. Thank God for the elves. They needed that. But yeah, fresh golden blades coming in behind. This is not looking good. And uh, as you can see, the front line has almost been smashed. I'd be trying to get back these halberd deers. Uh, try and get back to the uh, defense over there by by Erebor. So they would try and get some of these elves back into Dale as well, if that's what they're allowed to do. I wouldn't want them just to be dying out here on the front line unnecessarily. Especially with the numbers. Let's see what the numbers are looking like. 4,000 versus 6,000. Actually, not too bad. I mean, they've, they've cut that down quite a lot. A general has been killed. That is good. Um, so that's Champions of Dougal Dog being killed here. What did he get killed by? Oh, just spears. Okay. And that's going to cause a chain route for Dougal Dog. That is, only the, uh, that is the risk with uh, losing a general to Dougal Dog. You start the chain route. The dwarves over here, you know, they're holding. Maybe we're going to have a bit of a strange uh, change from the battle. You know, there's going to be like a force that defends Erebor. Well, there's another force that's like still fighting on the front lines out here in the, uh, in the field. It looks like. I mean, if I was... Uh, the armies of evil, I'd be thinking, <laughs> we really need this army right now. Look at them. They've got a nice view, though. They've got a nice view of the carnage. That centurion, like the officer down there. I love I love the uh, like the head gear that they have. They can see the battle going on down there. They're probably thinking, it's going okay, but uh, there's not going to be much left <laughs> to attack this defense here. There will not be much left. Um, over here, Dale. Let's have a look. Keep an eye on Dale. Dale seems like... It's holding, you know, it's, those our defenses fell pretty quickly, but th that's often what happens. Actually, these Lords of Last Garland, you know, they're holding the line against these Olokai. And they're killing them slowly. Uh, probably more of the archers are killing them. But they are doing it. And also the pole arms, they're slowing down this, atta this attack. The uh, Lake Town Guards, again, are probably eventually, over time, they will start to get whistled down. But for now, they're slowing down. They're slowing down Dol Guldor. This is good. They need this. Dale's got a hold. Dale doesn't hold, then, uh, I mean, there's a... I mean, it doesn't really matter. <laughs> In the movie, they were more worried about than the flank happening of, uh, over here. But uh, they've, they've been already outflanked. The trolls did that. The trolls just smashed through the line. Yeah, you can see down there, the front line nearly over. Nearly over, to be honest. It looks like in some areas, the elves are going to mop it up. And in some other areas, it seems like the orcs are going to actually win. Actually, to be honest, the Orcs should be winning in all these spots. It seems like with the re reserves that they have here, still gold or pikes left. They should be winning. I mean, these halberdiers need to go back into combat. They need to support their elven allies. But certainly, if I was uh, if I was Mordor now, or well, Dolgaldor, I'd be saving the rest of these Zolokai. I'd be saving them for the final assault. You're going to need them. Especially now that the elves and the dwarves are out of ammo, really. They have no ammo on this side. They're going to be having to uh, fight them in melee. And that's what the trolls love. They love a bit of melee. And there you go. The trolls are back in. Look at just angrily coming into, my, into the picture. Yeah, you stomp them. You stomp them, son. Only a face a mother could love. Uh, that certainly is a face only a mother could love. Something like that. And they're all breaking now. All the dwarves are breaking along the line. These iron swords. I mean, they held to the, like, the dregs of them in. 25 men. 12 men, yeah. And you can see a chain route here. So the field has basically been lost. There's a couple of units left. But that is it. So, I mean, they've done a good job, though. I mean, of the elves and the dwarves. They have retreated some stuff. Very smart of them. We've got, uh, got a few dwarven units that are back here. Iron swords. I mean, some sp iron guards as well. And we have got the uh, the Iron Hammers. Very imaginative names of the uh, the dwarves. But yeah, there's not much left here, so that is a good sign. I'm presuming, I'm guessing, like, Azog's supposed to be, like, the servants of the eye, maybe. I guess so. Imagine imagine these are wargs, and uh, they're actually 
orcs riding them. That is what you've got to believe. Um, but over here, as you can see, more battling going on. The trolls, are, are they all dead? They may actually be all dead. They're certainly not here, but they are all dead in this, uh, the ones that are like, we're fighting on this side. There were some over there, but they look like they're a lot healthier than the ones over here, so I think that's my, my kill off an entire, uh, troll unit fighting here. So the elves have done a good job helping that happen, but you can see you've got, uh, we've got spears in here, we've got swords of, uh, Dale, and also we've got, uh, the elves. Actually, I don't even think the swords are committed. Oh no, they're just down here. They've been broken. And look at that. I'm sure this uh, Lake Town Guard's racking up kills. 167. Yep, yeah, it's done really well. The trolls over here, I mean, they've got 222 kills. They probably want to start thinking about, uh, I don't know. I'd probably go back down here where there's no pole arms. That's where I'd be sending in my trolls. They want to be uh, getting some archers up to uh, take out these pole arms, though, do the uh, forces of evil, because otherwise they have no way through them. That's the only issue. I mean, this is good to see, though. This Lake Town Guard here still has, like, almost full ammo. Um, is there any more with ammo? This one's got full ammo. Wow, Yeoman, okay. Yeah, they're pretty set. They still have, yeah, plenty of bows with uh, with ammo, which is good. I mean, honestly, oh, look at this, though. Sneaky by the uh, by the Orcs. They're sending in some uh, shock infantry, and they can get all the way around here if they wanted to and up to the top, and that is certainly what I would be doing. And we also have Thrandall here, obviously, with Zelven King. Uh, forces, so he will be handy. There's some bardings. We actually have, like, oh, I guess they can't bring, uh, the, yeah, the general unit. They have to kind of bring, like, I guess barding works because he is, the general will be bard. I guess that makes sense. It's very elite archers, I'm just thinking, though. It's kind of a little unfair on those Olakai. Like, elite archers, anyway, for Dale. Only the elves should have the elite archers, but you can see here, Dale desperately trying to hold on. It's a little bit dark here, unfortunately. Hopefully, uh, you guys can see what's going on. The watch post sentries have got to got to hold on a little longer with these spear militia shipmen. I mean, the late time guard might want to think about getting committed soon. They, uh, the last forces on the field have been defeated, and now the assault over here can begin. Day and Iron Foot, very much still alive. He's beaten blood. He's been beaten up, bloodied a little bit. He's just mad. He's not. He's not beaten though. He's just mad. And uh, I'm excited to see what he can do. Still waiting for this orc army to move down. Obviously, it's not yet supposed to move down until, uh, well, kind of until Thorin like attacks. Kind of. That's kind of when he attacks. Like after that, they can attack really. The elves are down here battling. This looks glorious. And look at the light bouncing off the armor of the elves. It's awesome. It really does. These Lords Last Guard, they're pretty good in combat. I don't know if you know. Uh, these guys are like, they've got good bows. Like elves, they're just they're basically the epitome of the elves. Good with a bow and with a sword. And they're cutting down these Gold Lord Glaives. Uh, blades, I'll tell you that, 240 kills. They are losing though now. Gold Lord Blades are uh, starting to get a bit of an advantage. I see what I think I see. Yeah, the trolls are lingering in the background. You can see the uh, last uh, the Lake Town Guard actually retreating. They're just kind of surprised. And uh, they've also retreated over here. I guess it's because they've seen the flanking force. You can see Thrandall's uh, Elven King has rushed down. He's trying to deal with the uh, Chavis of door. Doesn't really matter because, uh, well, this is kind of all that's really left of the elves. It's just the forces here. It doesn't really matter if he dies. His job is kind of already done. His kin have already died on the battlefield. He's probably had that. He's about to have that moment where he's uh, seeing all the dead elves and he thinks, you know what? We're done here, boys. Let's go home. But first, he's got to have that, like, the moment where he has his uh, reindeer shot on from under him. He's uh, Chavis of Dolgodol losing still. This is kind of a prolonged melee now. I mean, the, the Elven King needs to stay in here, otherwise he's going to get cut down when he retreats. But yeah, they're, they're doing okay, you know. These Elven King, they, I thought they got nerfed, but they're doing okay. 
I'm sure we're going to see yeah, more shock to come up. That'll sort of even the fight out. Uh, the elves did lose over here. And then now the remains of the orcs are pushing up the hill. Obviously, I get all. Oh, yeah, this is not a good sign. Look at this. Late Town Guards down here. They're being pinned down by Gildor Blades. But, I mean, they could just get flanked at a moment. And they should be. And that's probably going to be a dead polearm unit in a moment. Once the uh, orcs actually realize that they can outflank them. We have more just weak spears over here holding back. Orc Warriors, and it looks like we've got some pillagers maybe as well. The remains of, a, I presume, one of the forces that was outside. Because Mordor was kind of outside the walls, not inside. The Allied General is dead. Oh, Dane has died. The assault over here has begun. I did not even realize. We had the charge over here. Thorin has charged out, I guess, as is Dane, obviously. And Dane has got himself killed. So he won't be coming, becoming king under the mountain. Maybe Thorin will survive. Well, obviously, we don't have a Thorin model, but uh, I could presume he survives. If they do add one, you can see a yeah, look at this nice little flank going on by the uh, Iron Hammers. I don't know why they sent both this way. It's only one tiny little unit. They're going to cut these guys down. But yeah, you can see here that the uh, force of evil, they have already could flank and can flank. Uh, the dwarves here. The dwarves may be about to be spent. The, uh, the dwarves of the Iron Hills don't get up this easily. I mean, I say that, but they have lost their general, so it is potentially they, they potentially they could break. But it is not them that breaks. It is the orcs of Dol Guldor that break first. I mean, the pikes are going to be the real issue, trying to deal with those pikes. They've got to flank them. And I, get, I don't know what is going on over here. Look at this. Where are these guys off? I know. I guess these are supposed to like represent Thorin or something. They're rushing to, uh, to fight up here. I don't know. They'd rush... Are they rushing to fight up here against uh, Azog or something? I don't know. Maybe. They are getting chased down by the uh, Sons of the Eyes. So I don't know. Maybe it's just a misclick. Because really, if I was him, I'd be I'd be killing the Sons of the Eyes right now that's killing them. Honestly, this is kind of perplexing me what this is doing. I thought these were just reinforcements for the uh, doors. Like, they're supposed to represent, like, Thorin and his company. Uh, so I guess, yeah, one of them needs to go off to go maybe up there. Uh, to Raven, Raven Hill, but uh, the other one just needs to stay down here and just carry on fighting because the rest of the dwarves uh, stay down and fight with the uh, the Iron Hill dwarves because these boys have got to survive. If it's going to go like the movie, the dwarves got to win somehow. But this line is getting thinner and thinner. It looks beautiful though. It does look beautiful. And also, they need to protect their own flanks. Like they are getting flanked hard here. You can see. They could do with uh, they could do with at least one of these shock infantry coming to the back lines of the uh, pikes breaking them. At least the pikes over here are losing. I guess that's a small positive. Even if like they are being flanked. Look at this. Just way in behind. Look behind you, dwarves! Death is coming! Yeah, they're not going to survive very long. That's a very thin line. I think that's actually a broken dwarven unit now. Yep, look at that. And they're starting a chain route because the dwarves... Uh, well, Dane's dead. Uh, but they're going to they're hold here. But look at this. It's like a triangle, almost. Brave dwarves holding on. General. Oh, general's been killed. Thrandall's dead. Thrandall has got himself caught that caught up in the uh, gold of glaives here, and he's got himself killed. So the elves are now without a general, and the dwarves. It's just down to Bard. Bard is actually the only one surviving. Dale looks uh, very isolated right now. I mean, you can see the uh, dwarves here are cutting down random units, but they are still rushing up the hill. I guess to go and fight up there. I guess maybe that's not a full army. Maybe that is just a small little army up there. I'm not really sure. Surely it. I think there's got to be quite a lot of forces up there because I don't see 3,000 men down here. Maybe a, maybe a thousand here. Um, I mean, there's certainly less than a thousand over here. So there is certainly still a lot. I mean, what are the numbers now? 2,200 versus 3,800. Yeah, there's definitely a fairly large army, army up there. Maybe not a full stack, but there's at least another fresh army up there. Honestly, it looked like there might be, but... 
I guess it's uh, not not that many uh, orcs up there. I, also, there can't be that many orcs up there if they're going to willingly send the two iron hammers up there. I mean, they are gold chevron, but even still, you don't want to send just two units against an entire army. These uh, iron swordsmen just not giving in. Not giving one inch. In comes some Merkle trackers. And it gets ever so slightly tied to just the circle. Still holding on though, they're still well actually one's Iron Sword C is losing decisively. Iron Guard, they're quite happy. Quite happy being surrounded. I know why Dane died, and it's because he needed his little pig. I've decided he needed his pig to ride into battle. It seems like the door was waiting here, and then they're just going to maybe rush up. I'm honestly not really sure. I presume that's supposed to represent Ravenclaw. Over here, though, you can see Dale is... Uh, well, Dale's on on the, uh, the last legs. They are by the cat point now. They're trying to hold back Goldo Glaives with some Watch Pro sentries. Not a good matchup, even if they are a weakened Glaive unit. Shock infantry against spears. It doesn't end well. I hope they have some uh, archer ammo left because they're going to need it. Over here as well. I mean, it's not looking, uh, not looking too good. I mean, the polearms over here still holding, holding strong though. This is good, at, but suddenly like archers in combat there against shock infantry. That's not so good. But that might mean just to allow the polearms to set up. I'm not sure. Yeah, they still have archers with ammo. So they got late time guard up bowmen here. We have got yeomen with archer ammo as well. So I mean, not too bad. Shipmen also have javies. So this is good. At least try and get these late time guard behind uh, these archers now behind the uh, the pole arms. No need for them to die unnecessarily. Rip in peace to him. And there you go. They are actually now retreating. They should have done it a little while ago. But the late time guards are going to hold firm. And they're going to stop any sort of assault now. The, the orcs are in, in a little bit of trouble. Uh, we've got bushes in the way. That's so annoying. Yeah, as you can see. Glaives retreat. And they're going to have to find a new way in. Probably want to try and come around this side. I mean, we've still got trolls alive as well. There are two Olokai still alive. And we also have seen that um, a victory point has been captured. It's not the victory point. Um, but it is just a victory point. Which is uh, obviously very, very key for the... Uh, for the armies of evil because then they have a morale bonus yeah, as you can see here, I guess these reinforcements can go to Dale and yeah as you can see over here they have uh, she started engaging I don't know whether like there's an objective to kill this general if so he's pretty strong he's cutting down these iron hammers like they're just I don't know nothing butter The other one is losing though, Gold Glaives are losing. Oh, actually, both sides are losing this fight apparently. It's always interesting, both sides losing. Um, but yeah, I guess maybe that maybe that is that all that is up there. It's just a couple of uh, couple of units. Because otherwise I can't see them sending that general in straight away. But what are the numbers looking like now? We've got, yeah, 1700 versus 3200. It's going to be very, very close.
It's going to be decided by those trolls and generals. If the army of evil can keep their remaining, remaining generals alive, they'll be okay. If they can't, they'll master out. They will... I mean, Dale probably also will, will master out if it loses its general, so it can't really afford to throw theirs away. Dale's not as hardy as, say, uh, the dwarves or the elves, certainly. Got, look at this, they've got pole arms and swords ready. They're going to allow this to uh, to break and then they're going to kind of make a, a V for victory. Defense over here. This is not looking so good. What the heck happened here? I thought the pole arms had it covered. Evidently not. We've got late time guard archers in combat and some shipmen. Dares be trying to hold back the shock, but it's, uh, I mean, it's pretty beaten up shock now. They've seen a lot of action. They're going to need some reinforcements. What have they got down here? I mean, some battered swords. I mean, they're going to need all these troops here, yeah, that are now arriving. Dol Guldor, reinforcements arriving. We've got a, well, so it's the eye general being thrown in. Who's firing out? Who's firing ammo? Who's firing ammo? I saw shots being shot. Oh, maybe it's the uh, Lake Town Guard Bowman there. They should break through. I mean, they're getting focused on. Yeah, I was going to say, they have war cry, so they should just pop war cry and just break break all these troops. But obviously, now that they've uh, killed this unit of uh, spears off, I think they can get up this slope here. Obviously, silence these archers, take the victory point. They can rear charge this uh, pole arm as well. So they need to hopefully try and beat the... I was going to say, they all really need to beat these units quickly to get their pole arm back, but I don't think they're going to have much hope of that. And you can see they're already retreating to the final point now. They're actually retreating the, uh, the shocking tree. Closely followed by Goldo Glaives. Just stand and hold your ground, boys. You might have actually killed all these guys. You're good enough to kill them all. The Lake Town Guard. They're not as hardy as uh, some other units at sea. And they are. Well, they're not breaking. They did indeed retreat. Oh, they do. Though they've broken the Glaives. They're alright. They're saved. The archers, not so much. They are now being silenced by Sons of the Eye. Rip in peace. These boys are gonna die. And look at that! Just about won um, the fight over here. I, they were winning this, obviously winning this fight with the dwarves, um, ever so slightly, with both sides losing. Apparently, it was enough for the dwarves to win. But yeah, they have actually get, killed this general here. And I guess that means, like, Azog's dead or something? I don't know. I'm not exactly sure who this general is supposed to represent. I presume Azog, because he's up here on this hill overlooking everything. So, uh, so yeah, he's uh, he's not dead. I guess Thorin maybe did it. I guess we'll say these, uh, well, the shock infantry here that's left is, like, Thorin, uh, Dwalin. Thorin's probably dying somewhere on the ground back there, though. He's, he's got to be dying somewhere. But yes, yeah, they're cutting them down, and I don't know if any of these troops on here are uh, are from the army because I imagine that might be the case. Actually, you may have. I mean, you can see there are waving troops here. Gold or pikes wavering. Numbers are looking a little bit rough. Eleven hundred versus twenty-four hundred. I'm not still not sure who's going to win this one. Certainly with the uh, the issue of this uh, unit here. I mean, this Lake Town Guard. You can't really see it with the. Uh, the Dumb streets can making it so dark. But they are getting sandwiched. They or they were getting sandwiched, and they're gonna get sandwiched again when the infantry arrives. And once that unit that's a healthy unit as well, that's a lot of men that are about to die. So I mean once once the defenders will down these troops, they may start to lose heart and army losses might take over. Where are those trolls? Please tell me the trolls didn't get the shot on the way up. The battle's never in your favor, uh, elves and dwarves and stuff like that. It was never, never there. I can't see the trolls. Did they get? Oh no, they're there. Oh, thank God. I thought they got shot. I was very upset. Yeah, these boys are ready to go in. It's not the, the right side to really have them, but there you go. See the sense of the eye. They're going to cut down these Lake Town Guard. They keep hammering and ambling them. I mean, the, the Lake Town Guard have no choice. Either turn around and face the uh, the, the cav. And get rear charged by 
trolls. Or they face the trolls and they get rear charged by Cav. They're choosing to get rear charged by Cav. It probably is less pleasant. Or less uh, unpleasant, sorry. There you go. They're running the... Now I'd send in the trolls. Now send them in. I mean, they actually are winning that fight, yeah. They must have turned themselves around at the last moment. Oh, did one die? One has died. Wow, just running in. And they, they rear charged this unit. So I'm kind of surprised he died. But there you go. So one troll left. One troll and a bit of hope. Where is the dwarves going? They've gone up here. Can I come round and support? Well, I guess they can. They can go down the hill and then go around and support. It's going to be a long trip, but I like that. I don't think they're going to be uh, saving the day anytime soon. But Dale has got to hold now. Dale has got to hold. For any hope of an allied victory. These pole arms are going to be huge. I like that. Anyone recognize that head? It's not one of ours. I mean, I guess if it's an orc head, you would you would be saying that. You'd be like, that's not one of our heads. Uh, but then also, why would you make me comment on that? Surely, like, you've got enough brain cells to realize that, like, an orc head is definitely not one of yours. I don't know. I'm wittering on now. But we are about to see pikes come up. They're going to try and combat these late-time guards. It'll be interesting to see whether these guys actually, you know... Oh, who's got ammo left? Oh, we've got mocha trackers here with ammo. Uh, that could be huge, actually. But it'll be interesting to see whether... Goldor Pikes are a match to Lake Town Guard because, yes, they are Pikes, so they should have the range over the pole arms, but Goldor Pikes suck, as we've seen in this battle. And you see very smart the putting shipmen in amongst the, uh, the pole arms trying to save them. This is Dale, a man with a dream. And very few men. They're gonna, they're gonna fight it out there for a little bit longer. What we've got here, late on guard bowmen, they're going around, they're actually harassing, harassing these glaives. Leave them alone, they've done nothing to you. The dwarves have nearly arrived though, look at this, we're going to have 27 men uh, joining the, uh, join the fight. How many men did they kill? 340, jeez, they've done well. They have done well. But yes, as you can see, Dolgador desperately now throwing up. Throwing up his reserves, his last few men. I hope you guys have still got a few snacks left because the fight's not quite over yet. I certainly know that these orcs are still hungry for man flesh. They might as well send in the ship, uh, the shipment. They're going to be, well, actually, they might need the shipment elsewhere. I don't know. I, I, they broke, actually. They did break those guys. How much infantry have they got left? Got, like, fairly healthy blades here. That's not a good sign. Large honor to crew, and then it is just the trackers on this side. The troll, the troll, I don't know where he's gone. Is he under there? No, he's not. Did he get killed? He may have got killed. I don't know, the general's there. We've got, like, what remains of the uh, the rest of the reinforcements over here. We're seeing healthy pikes come up. I have no idea where the troll went. Maybe he went and got himself killed. We've got some f one phantom there. Yeah, honestly, I think the troll may have got himself killed somewhere. I wasn't paying attention. Not a clue. Not a clue, to be honest. And he'll probably make a reappearance and I go, oh, there he is. He's been there all along. No, I don't know. I think he might be dead. That's a shame. I didn't see him die, but the trolls did their, did their job in today's battle. Uh, they certainly were a fine addition to the uh, to the fight. So they made it very interesting. I mean, often we see Battle of the Five Armies and, like, evil forces just get cleaned up. So with the trolls, it's made it very close. Obviously, it's still, like, I don't know, with tactics, if you actually implemented proper tactics. 
would Evil have uh, had a chance? Who knows? But certainly, like, it running off how the movie went has made it uh, quite interesting. But here we go. We're going to start match up I was on about. Golda Pikes versus uh, Late Town Guard. Who wins? As you can see, the Late Town Guard can't really reach. The Golda Pikes are a bit crap. They've not even put their pikes down properly yet. Come on, guys. They are losing, actually. They don't got 540 kills. Jeez. They're doing well. What's the other one at? 352. They, yeah, these, these late down guard are going to do well today. Maybe it'll be them eating orc flesh. I mean, that's a bit weird. I guess you've got to eat what you can. At. Yeah, there they can't actually be much food in Dale. So you probably would actually end up maybe eating orc flesh. Maybe, certainly would eat man flesh. Don't want to be a cannibal. But you might. I wonder if it tastes good. It might taste like, uh, I don't know, like pork. Who knows? There, those uh, Golda Blades, they're breaking. It's not a good sign. They were the fresh, were they not, these two not the fresh units and they just got thrown in there to die? I mean, it's not much else they can do though. That's the thing. That is the problem. Like these, uh, the pikes are the, the only hope to break through. They're going to need a lot of them. Look at them feebly trying to poke away. You do your best, you fool. Who's been routed? Uh, I presume... I don't know who that was. Who the heck that was? Is that... Oh, it was the dwarves. <laughs> what happened? Dwarves, no. They got cut down. Why did they dismount? Why did the Sons of the Eye think this is a smart idea? Just run them down. But yeah, they're cutting down every single dwarf. Look at them. Look at this, just butchered him. So Thorin's dead. Thorin's company is all dead now. Uh, they didn't make it out. That is a shame. Um, it is now literally down to Dale. Bard will be the if if Bard survives, he'll be the only one to be able to retell this story. Dane's dead. Thrandrel's dead. Thorin's dead. He is the only one alive. shipmen they're battling on and unfortunately they're doing it in the shady part of the map so we don't get a good view of them they're trying to flank around here oh no they're just throwing their weight in though against the uh, late town guards and they're getting cut down I mean they're killing a few of these late town guards but not enough oh wow oh it's not late town guard it's late town guard archers yeah they've cut these poor guys down they just oh. Execution. Well, what have they got left? They've got like a fresh shipment over here. And we've got Barding's which is good in combat. Yeoman won't be too great in a fight. It might be okay. Who knows? They might be okay. There's a fresh pike here though. These pikes are starting to win. It's going to be close. It's extremely close. I mean, this side over here has got nothing to offer now. It's just archers. They could send these guys in, and they're just they're just feeding kills to the pole arms and to the uh, to the swords. It's all going to come down on this side, and it's not very exciting now. Apart from who's going to win, that is it. The fighting itself is not exciting, but the result and who's going to win that is where the excitement is. And I don't know. Look at this, this lone Lake Town guard here. Fighting on with his... They're not even like They can't even reach. They've just got to hope that they don't get poked by a pike. And he did. No. He died. While we're here, we should admire, admire the uh, Lake Town Guard officer. He looks glorious. Look at that cape. And the purple uh, uniform. He's, he's looking behind him looking for more troops. Because he's on the front line now. And this unit that's got oh, nearly 600 kills is going to break. It's three shy of 600 kills. And I'm getting hiccups. But, uh, yeah. It is, uh, it's going to be close. It's going to be very, very close. Sorry, I was just taking a glass of, uh, 
a sip of water. Try and sort out these uh, hiccups. But there you go, you can see that the shock infantry is uh, getting in and they're going to cut down this Lake Town Guard. I mean, what a number. 680 versus 1, 1,300. Oh, God. Hiccups are returning. I guess they're going to go back to back, but they can't give up the cap point. They're going to need that. These archers, the yeoman still have ammo. What do they shoot at, though, I guess? Gold or pikes? Shock infantry, if they kill the general. It's a it's a chain route. This is uh, Mordor's general, I guess. Yeah. He's still alive. Lake Town Guards are going to be needed over here. Yeah, the barding, the bardings, oh god. The bardings can hold against the... Uh, against the hordes down here. I mean, the shipmen should just carry on the fight. Like, up the top, they should not be down here. And the bardings should be able to beat all the archers. It should be fine. But the Lake Town Guards, I mean, they're just going to do the same thing that they did again. They're just going to poke away slowly. I mean, on this side, they should be fine against the shipmen. And they've seen a little gap. I mean, are they going to fit through it? I don't know. This unit's got 400 kills. Oh, they captured it. Look at that. You die. You scum. Orc scum. Have they actually captured it? Oh, yeah, they have. Wow, they are on the point. So I guess... Oh, dear. They get a mor morale-wide bonus, but they don't actually capture the point. Okay, so that's not end game. They need to actually uh, kill all of Dale. Oh, Dale kill all of them. But look at this. Charge coming in from Mortals Gen. And then we've got the champions of Dogledore, they're going to throw themselves in. I mean, it's a good, good point to try and break through. And you can see they're starting to lose decisively. Come on, shipman, you can do it. You've cut down hundreds of orcs at this point. Don't die now to a few horsey boys. These yeomen, they need to fire off the last few rounds. And the uh, general's going down here. They're really going to try and commit and break all these troops. I guess they're thinking maybe if they can break these troops, it'll cause a chain round. Because this is probably a large portion of their army. It's just these halls of archers. Uh, the yeomen, yeah, they need to reset and just fire. I think they're going to shoot these pikes. But I'm honestly, I guess, yeah, maybe they won't kill the general in time. I don't know. Mordor's general is not worth shooting either because he has no army. Though he's a very powerful unit. They've got to shoot these pikes. They just don't want to engage these uh, pole arms. It's smarter than... Yo, no, Yeoman, get out. You have ammo. Use every last arrow you have. I'm glad that I, my hiccups are coming on at the end of the battle, not like m midway through. Otherwise, I'd have to like go and like take a break. But no, this battle's been too good. And there you go, the general's actually broken. So it's the IR gone. And the Lake Town Guard broke. They got broken by the uh, Gold or Pikes here. So this is not good. And now obviously the shipment are left. I mean, looks like... Looks like they did actually mass route all of the archers down here. Look at that. They actually did. They mass routed a lot of these guys. And numbers are 400 versus 600. It's an insanely close finish. These yeomen need to actually get some shots off on these gold pikes instead of just running into them. Get out of there, boys. Get out of there. You're getting cut down. No. Oh, this is painful to see. This is what happens when you fight... Yeah, get out of there. Get out of there. Run. The wavering. No. That's just like a, a good hundred or so men that just broke. And uh, you can see Dale's actually going to try and recapture this point. Try and get some morale bonuses. Barding's just cutting down. Merkwood trackers left, right, and so they don't even care. They're like, you scum. Get out of our way. Where are the pikes? We want to face them.
Oh, these souls returned. Oh, okay, no, I'd, I think they were down here helping with the uh, bardings, but yeah, they are not going to win the fight. The, but, uh, the uh, yeomen are back, though. They need to fire. Fire your shots. Bows out, not swords out. Not swords out, please, boys. We need your swords out. Oh, uh, your bows out. If they shoot this gen and kill him by a f by fluke, then that would be amazing. But I don't think they will. And that is a shame. I mean, you can see what it's going to come down to. I mean, what are the... Oh, my God. 250 men versus 430. I mean, this is going to be insane. They haven't got the point now, though, which is the only issue. Which gives them morale. You wonder whether Dale should have fought over those these points a little bit more to keep that morale. Especially with their poor infantry. But, uh, I mean, where's where's Bard? He's just here. He's going to have to throw himself in. He's just going to have to go in. I mean, these pikes. And what can he do? I think the answer to the, uh, beating the Gold Ore Pikes is be aggressive. They don't seem to, like, want to get... Yeah, look at it. Oh, well, I say that. I don't know. It's hard to say. What are these shipmen doing in here? Have they joined the Dark Army? The evil... That is, Sauron has already turned these shipmen. This is Dale's last stand. I can't, there's literally nothing left. This is a sad sight. We're going to see evil win at the Battle of Five Armies by the looks of it. They've got 400 men left to take on 100. They're going to retreat. It's not a bad idea, but it's uh, only a matter of time until they get killed off. I don't even think uh, these elite, uh, like... Arch is going to be able to beat the, uh, the champions of Dogledore. And that's what I'm mostly concerned about. That troll, I'm really upset. I don't know where it died. But yeah, there you go. This is the Battle of... The uh, of oh my gosh. The Battle of the Five Armies. Um, and and Pope's Hiccups, it would seem. And uh, yeah, it's... Uh, it's been a good one. It's been a glorious one. And it's going to end with an absolute murder of these Bardings, by the looks of it. They got a pretty good charge off these champions of Dogledore. I've seen a few heads fly. Oh yeah, they're losing and they're routing already. And there you go, a valiant defeat for the uh, for the elves and for their allies. So we'll end the replay and have a look at the end results. But yeah, these are some uh, really we're gonna have some really good kills here. It's actually a four v three. I think I said four v four at the beginning. Um, so. So yeah, the uh, attackers obviously were facing uh, only three uh, three armies, and they did a really good job. Did both sides? Um, I mean, there are a few uh, scores here that I think, oof, they definitely need more kills. But but they've done pretty well. Um, and I'll quickly go through these because uh, then I can just stop her annoying you with my hiccups. But yeah, this was sent in by Mythic, who's the one that organised this uh, like event. So well done to him. Uh, he did a really good job. I mean, this is just one of the best Battle of Five armies I've ever seen, and it's like down to a T, like, that good, and it did an amazing finish as well, um, but yeah, 115 k kills for the Elven King Riders, I mean, we've got 383 for these Swordmasters, 528 for this one, we've got, a uh, Las Galan Spears here with 190 kills, surprised didn't bring any swords, um, but I guess that's part of the movie, I, I guess, they just d didn't have, like, sword and shield units, but th there were certainly some there, um, I'm pretty sure, and then we've got Lasgal and Archer here with 270 kills. They did very well. Um, I mean, we've got one here with 7 and 16. Not so good. Um, definitely wanted to use their ammo a bit better. Uh, 280 kills with the Lords Lasgal and 268 with this one. So, yeah, well done to Mythic. We've got Jospens, who's playing as Dale. Uh, his Barding's 274 kills. Really good there. Uh, 432 with his shipment. And then his, like some of his infantry did not so great. His uh, Polarms, though, 406, 597. 474 these guys killing like armies on their own then we have yeoman here with 105 kills and then we got lake town uh guard bowman here this one got zero this one will probably trapped by trolls but this one getting 184 kills 102 so some good kills there then we got jacksmith the prime who's playing as erebor with his uh huge iron sword and uh, iron guard spam uh dane only got 95 kills before he got killed wow um, Iron Swords here, 
223, 260, 307, some good kills here. I mean, some not so great, but some did really well. 355 with the Iron Hammers, 296 with the other. Really good kills there as well. 180 for the Iron Guards, 134 with the Iron Guards here. So some really good kills. 327 Erebor Halberdiers. Um, but yeah, and the artillery not so great, but they did really well as well, did Erebor. Unfortunately, they all die in the end. So uh, obviously, there's no king under the mountain now. And then we've got Canary who's playing as one of the uh, Dogledore armies. His general, which I think is at the end there, 511 kills. He gets oh, 110 with his uh, Goldor Blades here. And then we have 111 with the Goldor Glaives. Champions of Dogledore, 197. The Pikes, obviously, not so great. But uh, 174, uh, 6 with these Wraiths. It's very, very good as well, actually. So, yes, yeah, so he did pretty well. Sir Andrew William playing as another Dogledore army. Uh, a lot of Phantoms, which obviously just, just didn't get kills. And then you got Goldor Blades here. Uh, yeah, nothing great. I mean, he just just had a big, a bit of a spam army. Uh, he didn't even have any shock, unfortunately. So yeah, he kind of got screwed. Only his general getting 217 kills got the, the kills. <laughs> I do apologize. And then we have Cupper, who was playing as the uh, army of Mordor with all the trolls. I'm sure he enjoyed that. And he had artillery here, 420 kills. Oh my gosh, it's disgusting artillery kills. <laughs> Here, um, and then we've got Servants of the Eye with uh, a 361 kills, and then we've got his infantry just didn't do anything. Uh, yeah, wow, these guys all got focused down and murdered. And then he got 90 kills here with his Zoro Yeah, his trolls 258, uh, 177, 231, 263. Some really good kills there, but yeah, wow, he kind of turned around with his artillery and the trolls. Then we have Goldie. Playing as the final Dogledore army. 223 kills with this pike. He did actually very well with his. 60 kills with this one. 156 um, with this one. So, I mean, he did okay with his, actually. His uh, champions of Dogledore, 168 kills. 103 with his glaives. His uh, Goldor blades, well, getting 174, uh, two, which is actually pretty good. And his general only getting 92 kills. Which is a bit of a surprise with this being such a good unit. But there you go, guys. That is the Battle of the Fire Armies. I hope you guys did enjoy. Um, if you did, do remember to leave a like, subscribe if you're around here, and a comment to show your support. Feel free as well to join the Discord so you uh, don't miss out on any like streams or events if you want to get involved in some. Also, make sure to hit the uh, notification bell as well to not miss out on anything that uh, happens on the channel. And until next time, Legionnaires, I will see you in the next one.